Good morning, Rangers. It's great to see so many people here after last night, a fantastic night of convention. Um, I'd like to extend my thanks again to Scott and his amazing team for what promises and has already started delivering on being uh, uh, the most professional convention I've ever seen. As with every night, I hope you stayed safe last night, had fun, and most of all, got amongst it. Um, as Becky said, my name's Rob, and I have the pleasure of being your president of AMSA this year. Now, for many, convention is synonymous with AMSA, and for me, it has certainly been the start of an amazing journey. My first convention was Adelaide 2014, then on a whim, I attended our third AMSA council that year. Ever since, I've wanted to be more and more involved with this incredible, vibrant student organization made up of some of the brightest and most passionate people I've met. Now this year, AMSA's advocacy continues on the solid foundation set forth by previous teams. It's incredible to think the in impact we've had on medical education and the health system over recent decades and it's down to the hard work of individual students. Perhaps our greatest win in recent years has been the introduction and continuation of Commonwealth Medical Internships, spots designed to breach the gap um, in available internships for our international students, amounting to tens of millions of dollars spent. Still, the threat of increasing medical student numbers and proposals for new medical schools are ever present and AMSA remains committed towards ensuring that every graduate receives the opportunity to fulfill their goal of becoming a fully fledged doctor. Now related to this has been various proposals for higher education funding reform in, the, in recent years. Thankfully, after the mobilization and strong opposition to such, uh, such proposals as fee deregulation, a change which could make studying medicine too financially risky, it is now firmly off the table. Now, proposals have been watered down to more acceptable changes, yet base funding for medical education in Australia is still lacking as compared with the rest of the world. This funding shortage potentially affects the quality of the education we're receiving, as well as the support systems in place for thousands of students off campus and in hospitals every day. Unfortunately, this year, we've also been reminded of the mental health burden our career choice seems to bring. Many will remember the Beyond Blue report from 2013, which identified doctors and medical students at higher risk of mental distress as well as suicidal ideation. Now, what came initially as a surprise to me was the fact that a significant number, nearly one in five junior medical officers, reported that they would not have chosen medicine could they do it again? Now, I can't tell you why these doctors would have become so disinterested in a job that should be so rewarding, but I can have a guess. Unpaid overtime, loss of social support, and sometimes bullying from those above them is a recipe for burnout and distress. Clearly, doctors need to see effective workplace reform to ensure that they can access support and are not overburdened by a system which, while caring for its patients, forgets to recognize the needs and care for its workers. Now, the AMA and AMSA at the moment have been pushing for changes to the ma mandatory notification for doctors and medical students in Australia, and I think that's a really great first step. At the individual level, I implore you all to recognize yourself as imperfectly human while you're in medical school. Mental health should be talked about, not, jo not just by those who are ill, and work-life balance can't be a concept you put off for a day when you're not so busy. In this competitive environment we exist in, make sure you invest in your mental health and show support for those around you. At the very least, those students who may be feeling lost and uninspired by where they are right now, know that you are not alone and that it can get better. One of the most amazing things about AMSA is its capacity for dynamic change. In just a few short years, we've seen the likes of AMSA Rural Health become a fully-fledged committee of ours, with an, even with an event catering specifically to those interested in practicing rurally. 
Now, we all know there is a significant maldistribution of doctors in the country, and evidence-based, multi-pronged methods of getting doctors out bush really needs to be encouraged. Only then can we achieve equality for the health of Australians. Now, it makes me incredibly proud to be the face of an organisation that advocates for huge social changes, changes, as well as those issues that directly affect our students. This year, the AMA came on board in advocating for marriage equality, a position that AMSA has taken for several years. Recognize our recognizing our duty to treat all patients, regardless of their descriptors, the medical community has a broader duty to advocate for those marginalized and affected by social inequality. The psychological impact of entrenched discrimination should be rectified, and I truly hope that this substantial change will pave the way for more acceptance of the LGBTIQ community. Similarly, AMSA advocates for issues as diverse as the health impacts of climate change, the need for access of essential medicines globally, and appropriate treatment of asylum seekers and refugees. As I said, AMSA is dynamic and responsive to those who want to make a difference, and it warms my heart and gives me confidence that so many of us want to. I hope that through the speakers here at this event, you continue to be inspired to make that change. In this strange political climate, one where I often feel pulled in several directions at once, it's e easy to feel like meaningful change is out of reach. As medical students, we're taught to be analytical, to question everything, and I think that's, that puts us in great stead to cut through the politics of politics. I hope you see a home for, your, uh, see a home for yourself in organizations such as ours and go on to inspire others. Thank you.